Microsoft Windows, developed by DreamWorks Interactive and running on the Unreal Engine. Set in the 1920s, it tells the story of a man named Patrick Galloway, who returns to a creepy estate in Ireland to help him. Whilst in the right hand, he can select from a roster of offensive and defensive spells to aid further during encounters. These spells can include simple projectiles through to might not normally be attuned to. These spells can also be upgraded throughout the game through the use of something called amplifiers. Though there's not enough amplifiers to upgrade all the spells, so you have to be a little bit selective in the story isn't your cup of tea, then it's not going to be very engaging. There's not much variety in the enemy types either. Most enemies will simply fire slow moving projectiles at you from a distance or beeline towards you for a melee attack, giving you a massive window of opportunity to kill them. On the off chance that you were hit and take a little bit of damage, you can pretty easily patch yourself up with one of the two dozen health kits you have saved in your inventory. Boss fights are thrown in here and there to add a certain semblance of challenge, and though they do focus around a certain pattern or strategy, it's often painfully obvious what that is, meaning the fight is often over as quickly as it started. At the end of the day though, I wouldn't really have any hesitation recommending Undying to anyone interested in first person shooters. It offers some genuinely scary moments and it has really satisfying combat, combined with a rich story and a cinematic soundtrack. The best version of the game at the moment is the one being sold on goodoldgames.com. It runs pretty flawlessly on modern rigs and has very few, if any, compatibility issues or bugs. And for its dirt cheap price tag, you sure could do a hell of a lot worse.